اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, I'm going to focus on summarizing data graphically. Graphical representation of data. Now, the objective of this session is to describe the distribution of quantitative data using different plots. So, how do we do this in SPSS? Now, this is the data file that I have. And let's say I want data plot or graphs for gender. So I'm going to go to analyze, descriptive statistics, frequencies. Now gender is a categorical variable and that's why I chose frequencies. From charts, we are going to select either bar chart or pie chart. The reason I'm selecting bar chart or pie chart is because gender is a categorical variable. Now if you've got a categorical variable, use bar chart or pie chart. Now histograms, we normally use it for interval or ratio scale variables. So let's use bar chart, press continue, one option, frequencies or percentages. For now, we are going to use frequencies. You can display results in percentage as well. Press continue, I want the frequency tables, press OK. Now here are your results. One is male, two is female. Now if you want to display one, as male and two as female in SPSS. It's very simple. Just go back to variable view. In the gender, for the values, select one, male, two, female. Press OK. Now let's do that again. Analyze frequencies. Press OK and here are your results, male and female. Now, there are many other types of plots and charts that can be done. So for that, we've got a specialized menu here, graphs, chart builder. We can use chart builder in SPSS to build our own charts. So let's, and there is legacy dialog and it gives you all these charts separately as well. So let's use chart builder for now. So click chart builder. Now I want gender. So what I'm going to do is let's say I want bar chart. Simply drag it and drop it onto this chart here. Now I want bar chart. Select your bar chart. Double click on it. And I want gender. Here, I've got just one single variable. That's about it. Nothing else. And the statistics that I want, you can have percentage as well. Nothing else needs to be done. Your x-axis, y-axis, but in this case, it's just a single variable. You can have chart appearance as well. You can play around with these and just press OK. Now, here are your results. Now let's do another one, graph, chart builder. Let's say I want pie chart. So I'm going to click here, drag and drop it here. And again, gender is already selected. That's it. Now let's press OK. And here is your pie chart for gender. Moving on, let's try some other graphs as well. Now, if you want to clear the canvas, just right click here. Now it is clear. Now let's add histogram. Let's try a simple histogram for this variable here, vision, which is one of the variable. Now you cannot add it before you add a graph. So just please double click on it. Once it is added, now add your histogram or the variable that you want to assess using histogram. Just put it in here and let's press OK. And this is your histogram. Well, it is not normally distributed because the values are more or less showing a tendency towards the right side of the graph, that is higher values. Now, similarly, you can have legacy dialogues and let's say I want a 
bar chart you can have different bar charts let's say i want a simple one press define so let's say i want it for gender that's it nothing else you can have or you can define the panel by rows and columns we are just going to look into it that as well as to what we get press ok and the same bar chart that we got earlier now let's change it a bit go to graphs legacy dialogues use the simple one summarize for groups of cases summarize for separate variables summarize for individual cases now in this case we are going to just we are just going to use group of cases define and let's say I want to look into system. Let's press it. Has system here. Let's use the number of cases. You can try different options and see how the output changes. Now, this is system number one, that is private sector banks. This is in system number two, public sector banks. And in public sector banks, this was the number of male respondents and female respondents. And this is for private sector banks. So you can divide your graph into different categories based on a certain variable as well following you can have different plots as well you can have scatter plot for example you are testing on the regression assumptions so let's choose a simple scatter plot define and let's say this is my let's say this is my x variable op is my dependent variable for now, I just do not want to do anything else. I just press OK. And this is your graph. It's, it's like all over the place for now. But this is how you can do scatter plots as well. Just mention the Y axis, X axis and press OK. Now you can have histogram here as well. Let's say I'm interested in vision. And I want to assess vision for each system. So press OK and this is your histogram for each system. Again, you just need to play around with it and see how the chart builder can help you build different charts or the legacy dialogues whereby you, you use the dialog box to provide in the details and get your graphs or charts. I hope the session would have helped you understand how to use graphs and charts in SPSS. Thank you very much.